I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, what? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? No. Mm. Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays. I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah. Come on, let's get started. Hello? Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just... 
don't see what other choice we have. God knows Claire, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the number slightly wrong. <sighs> Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, I'm around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, Amanda, I thought you'd left town. We tried. We did try. But they've closed all the roads and you can't get through and... 
and then George and Ben said they had headaches, and then they started bleeding. And... <laughs> but it was horrible. They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around, and um, we saw the house was open, and I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids, and <laughs> and then Neil and I started bleeding as well, and it is all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired and Neil said he could take a nap in the bed. And you know, we thought Barbara wouldn't mind as they're only children. And, and I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. I never came back down. It's a bit too frightened to go and look. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. <laughs> yeah. I think I could manage that, yes. Will you please help me? Of course I'll help you. Neil? Neil, are you there?
What are you doing? I saw you. I saw you doing that. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, when you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off. No, Sam, stop it. You weedy little shit. It's give mine. Give me the Just can. Give me the can. Fucking grow up! starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh, Christ! What about the station? That's shut down too. So there's no way in or out of the valley. They're obviously serious about this flu thing. Phil doesn't think it's flu at all. He said he's been practicing medicine for 30 years and he's seen plenty of flu and he said this doesn't feel right at all. Well, there's nothing of any use on the radio. Sorry I'm late, everyone. Have you started? Yes, but to be honest, there's not really that much to discuss. This quarantine is in place. There's roadblocks and everything. No one really seems to know anything, but people are definitely missing. More of them, too, not just a couple of old biddies. No one's seen the Sullivan since yesterday, and the house is just sitting there unlocked. I've just got back from the farm. All of Frank's cows died in the night. He's devastated. Poor man. Hasn't he had enough for one year? First Mary, and now this. Well, if no one's coming in to sort this mess out, we're just going to have to do it ourselves. Uh, Barbara, get Phil to do a stock take on medication. Jeremy, put the word out for people to congregate at the village hall. It's best we get everyone in one place for the time being. Yes. I'll organise supplies. We'll have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. There's plenty at the depot, but well, let's start with what's here in the village. I'll draw up a rota. Charlie, you help me with that? Anything for you, Meg. I'll head out into the valley and scoop up the isolated families and check in with Lizzie Graves at the camp. Has anyone seen or heard anything from Stephen Appleton or his wife? Meg? 
Meg, are you here? Here. I'm in the lounge. There are too many empty houses tonight. Most of the village is gone now. My head's killing me. Ad... No, I thought they were all dead. There's a strange kind of static now. I think I heard numbers in it. It sounded like the American woman. Kate? She's still alive. No one's seen her. I is Charlie back? Not yet, no. I'm sorry. That's all right, Father. Listen, you go on ahead. I'll just rest here a little longer. Sleep well. and even reach the back fence, silly old bugger. Well, loaves and fishes we can manage, Father but garden Jeremy, designs a little beyond... might I have a word? Mrs. Boyles, of course. Meg, will you excuse us, please? Uh, see you back at Charlie's later. Cheerio, Wendy. I was speaking to Barbara. She said there were some irregularities about Mary's morphine. Good grief. I mean, those are private medical records. Barbara should know better than to be discussing that sort of thing with you. If Dr. Wade finds out, he'll have no choice but to suspend her. Damn it, Wendy! Your brother is grieving. Mary was sick for a long time, and I'm glad it's over for her. Go and support Frank. He needs you now. God knows what you did. He sees. I just pray he can overlook Mary's weakness, but you, a man of the cloth, if you, have an issue you with bring shame on this parish. If you have an issue with me, I suggest you write to the Bishop of the Diocese. I have parishioners to attend to, excuse me.
if you could just have a word with them, perhaps. If they listen to you. Well, I really don't see what it has to do with me at all. The village looks up to you. I just think with what's been happening with Mr. Coles and uh, Mrs. Boughton and the others, that people need somewhere to talk, to feel safe. Perhaps they don't think that your church is somewhere they feel particularly safe. I don't need your forgiveness, Wendy. Or theirs. Whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. Romans chapter 2, verse 1. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. It's not my judgment you should be worried about, Father. But fine. I'll talk to Barbara. Ask her to put a note up in the surgery about an extra service. Will that do? understand it yet, but it wasn't an accident. All of the clocks, what happened at random. There's an effort. An attempt to communicate. from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. I reckon he is. He said, uh, Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. And Frank, there's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. This pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the high range.
Dr. Wade, here you are. There's a queue of patients a mile long out there. Just send them to the village hall with the others, please, Bob. Doctor, people are scared. Mrs. Gables just called me and said her husband's vanished. She was very frightened. She said there was blood coming up from his ears and his what nose... What the hell do you want me to do? Until they lift the quarantine, we're not going anywhere. Just tell them to drink plenty of fluids, stay warm, and follow the instructions on the radio. Doctor, Phil, please, you have a duty to your patient. Your nose.
decision, Lizzie. Especially now. I do love him, Father. I, I love them both. He's married. There are other people involved in this. Oh, I hardly think that anyone's in the position to claim the moral high ground, do you? Well, I take your point about Stephen. And Robert. But I, I think Kate might see things differently. Do you? I mean, she's not screwing anyone else, pardon my French, but she spends all day and night locked up in that observatory. Stephen says they barely see each other. That's hardly a marriage, is it? The magnetic field is causing disruptions to phone signals and the rest of the electrics. There are voices on the line. It's 4 a.m. Maybe everyone is up looking at the light show. You know, they, uh, see me as an outsider here as well. Is that supposed to make me feel any better? You know, I understand it's difficult. That's all I'm saying. Your lot up at Vallis have never mixed with the local community. People here, they don't really understand what you do up there. Are you trying to get me to come to your church? It's not just about faith. It's about the community. 
Be involved. Be seen as part of it. One of them. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Lovely day. Oh, hello. Uh, Mrs. Appleton, isn't it? It's Dr. Collins. Lady scientist. Whatever next. Good morning, Barbara. <laughs> Father Wheeler. You really think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? I can live with them staring at me. If they just stay out of my way. Something all right? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? What do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! Stephen!
Can you hear me? Are, are you out there, you bastard? You got them all? Uh, you got them all? Christ, help me, oh Lord, give me strength. Hello? Hello, is, is anyone there? Is anyone still there? Oh, oh. You are still here then. I should have expected that. Come on then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to.
keep looking, but it makes no sense. The area we picked the pattern up from can no longer be located on the scope. That's just not possible. You can see significant changes to the quality of the ambient light in that part of the sky. It's overexposed, like a Polaroid left in direct sunlight. <laughs>